Today's video is on something that's been getting a lot of traction for boosting testosterone. It is not natural. It is a SARM, a selective estrogen receptor modulator. It is enclomiphene. Now I'm going to be breaking down everything about enclomiphene. What are the benefits of it? What are the downsides? Should you take it? Everything you need to know about it. What exactly it's going to do to you if there's any negative long-term consequences, etc. But first, I want to explain what clomid is, and, and clomiphene is part of clomid. So if we get an understanding of clomid, the history of it, its effects on your body, then it's going to be a lot easier for you to understand in clomiphene and how it could possibly affect your health or benefit your health. So now getting into clomiphene, clomiphene is a mix of two things. Enclomiphene, the trans isomer, and euclomiphene, the cis isomer. What this means is euclomiphene is not polarized and enclomiphene is polarized. So if we look at their chemistry bond structure, then what happens, this right here is euclomiphene. You swap this box and the CL and then you get enclomiphene. Now, what this change does is it changes the polarization of the bonds and this change in polarization changes its physical state, it changes its physical structure, and then it also completely changes the effects that it has on your body. So both of them are made out of the same thing. They're the exact same thing just with a different structure and this therefore gives them different effects. Now, if we look at enclomiphene, what enclomiphene seems to be doing inside of clomid is it seems to be mainly stimulating the boost in testosterone. But if we look at euclomiphene, this is believed to be where all the negative effects are coming from. This is believed to be the reason why a lot of people who take clomiphene end up having all the extra testosterone that they get bound up. This is why you don't hear of people taking clomiphene to go to the gym. It's solely made for fertility. So what exactly is clomid? Clomid was used originally to increase the fertility in women. What it does is it blocks estrogen receptors and this increases LH, luteinizing hormone, and FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. And now what FSH does is it grows your balls and makes them want to produce more testosterone. You could have high luteinizing hormone and not actually increase the production that much in your balls without having higher FSH. Now what LH does, luteinizing hormone, is it makes it so they can produce more testosterone. This is what stimulates them. So like I said a second ago, people don't take clomiphene for the effects of testosterone. It's a fertility drug that is taken only for fertility. Now let's get into enclomiphene specifically, the trans isomer of clomiphene. So like I said earlier, enclomiphene is an unnatural estrogen receptor modulator. If you take this, you are no longer natty. I do not take this, I am natty, but I do want to throw that out there. What this means is all the negative effects that estrogen is having on your testosterone, it shuts this down. It prevents the interference of your estrogen receptors on your testosterone levels. So what it's doing is restoring the complete testosterone production inside of your balls. It puts them in overdrive. Any reason that shut them down, whatever happened that made them stop producing high levels of testosterone, it may be years and years of modernization. It may be certain BPAs you're touching. It may be a lot of these things. So it's going to fix all those things that happened that shut down your natural production of testosterone. And what this means is somebody who is taking enclomiphene cannot get a physique that is not possible naturally because simply your balls are still the thing producing this level of testosterone. So in a perfect world, you could have these exact same hormone levels without taking it if none of this stuff happened. So just to be clear, this is something to restore what humans are supposed to be making in testosterone levels, 
not to boost you, not to give you the same effects of steroids, while it will give you very significant all the positive testosterone effects that you may know of or that I have previously named in other videos. Okay, so besides from the testosterone increase, you likely knew that. Are there any other positive effects of enclomiphene? And the answer is yes, it has been seen to have a very positive effect on fasting glucose. This is likely due to the protein synthesis effect of testosterone, but where exactly is this going to play a role in the gym? What this is going to do is help you burn a lot more fat on, on a cut and preserve more muscle. And then per, say you're bulking, this is going to help prevent any fat increase while you're on that bulk. So it's good to know the effects of this. This is more so going to help you stay leaner while other things may help you gain more weight. And then what exactly are the negative effects of enclomiphene? Well, there's been a lot of random small cases of tiny things that are very rare. Less than 1% of people taking them have the long list. But I'm going to give you the top three symptoms. The top symptom is having headaches constantly, which is 1.3% of people who take it. The second is heat flashes. 1.1% and the third is nausea, which is exactly 1% of people taking it. So you are pretty unlikely to experience any negative side effects from this, from what we know. Keep in mind, it's not extremely researched. There's not enough research for any conclusive answers to be made on it, other than we do know it does boost your testosterone. And then the next thing I'm going to say is that it's not FDA approved. You can't just go buy in clomiphene. You have to go through a doctor. And the reason it's not FDA approved, or at least they claimed, is because of a lack of clinical evidence on its positive effects. And that just simply doesn't make sense to me because there's no clinical studies ha that have shown it to not have these effects. So that's pretty out there, but you could, you could call me crazy, but I really just think that this is a matter of the government wanting more control because I think if every male on the planet took this, then you would live in a society where there's much less control of the government. Men would be much more dominant and actually pursue the things that they need to pursue and protest the things they dislike and there would be a lot more control in men because their hormones are actually at a healthy level so whatever you want to think on that you could think but that's all I could think of it doesn't make sense why they wouldn't approve this it's something that boosts testosterone there's a lot of ideas being pushed out now on a lot of things that sort of feminize men because of men being strong in society makes a society strong so have whatever thoughts you want on it but should you take it that's debatable on what exactly your goals are if you want to claim an addy then obviously you can't take it but if you don't care and you solely are looking to improve your life and improve the direction you are going if you want higher testosterone and you are doing a lot of things to increase it and you're sitting still in the 300s or somewhere low down then i certainly think it should be strongly considered and it's not crazy expensive you could get it for around a hundred dollars a month and then something else i want to bring up is the american military doesn't test for this and I think that just shows that it's another reason to back up the fact that this makes men more in a position of power. You want a strong military, so of course you're going to let the men do the things that are going to make them stronger mentally and physically. So I recommend you kind of go down the loophole in your own head on what exactly that means and all the ideas that could back that and why exactly that would be the case 
But that is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. I don't necessarily recommend it, but I do think many people should consider it. And even while saying that I'm against you taking any gear, this is the only thing I have found that I actually would recommend to some people. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. We are lifelong learners. Perspicacity is our grindstone for success. Keep on grinding.